Patty, you've been in and out of the rotation, obviously, this year. It seems like whenever you get your opportunity in the game, you know, you're never gun shy. You know, you're letting it fly when you're open. Just can you talk a little bit about that mentality and how you approach it being, you know, not playing on a consistent basis? Well, the mentality is um, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. And I think being able to stay true to who you are um, and not try to be, you know, someone else is, is important in doing that. But I think, you know, it's, um, it's preparation, it's approach, it's your mindset and being able to do the work um, when no one's watching. Um, and once your number gets called, whenever it does, you just got to be prepared to take, um, you know, make the most of that opportunity. So um, I think that's the professional in me that has um, been around and seen it and done it for so long now. Um, it definitely hasn't been easy in no shape or form, but um, you know, you, you're in an environment where you get to watch very talented basketball players play on a night-to-night -night basis um, and have a front row seat uh, to all of that action. So, you know, to be the, you know, a student of the game and how that can help your own game, I think, has been important throughout this whole um, period. Um, but like I said, it's it's the mindset of being able to stay ready, so that you don't have to, you know, be surprised when your number is called, um, and just go out there and and play hard and enjoy the game that we all play. Patty, you were here last year for the whole stretch without Kevin, and now, you know tonight marked ten games without him. You know, four and six since he went down. Just what have you made of how you guys have handled life without him this year compared to last year? Yeah, I think from a big picture standpoint. Um, you know, we've just worked out how to um, navigate the ship, uh, I guess. Um, and it definitely does feel a lot um, different than last year in that sense. Um, but I think what you're getting is just um, everyone being able to buy into what we're doing here. Um, and as you see, you know, it's, it's the next person up, one goes down, the next person up. Um, and, and, and that's, you know, that's a part of being on a team um, and, and the fun part of being a team. It doesn't matter who's, um, who goes down or who steps up, um, you know, being able to celebrate that and, and enjoy the success of, of your teammates. Um, and I think that's what's been going on so far, uh, yeah, while Kevin's been out. Your role on this team requires a lot of movement on the floor, a lot of movement shooting, a lot of high intensity minutes. Do you think that makes your preparation unique compared to other guys on the team in the league or not? Yeah, it's a good good point. Um, I think it's, it's again, trying to find ways how you can still um, be yourself in that way by able to, being able to move without the ball. Um, you know, obviously we play um, a lot of ISO ball, you know, and, and being able to move the defense, I think, um, given all of that style of play, um, it, it has been different. But I think there's there's still ways where you can get involved and be involved with that movement. That also helps, um, you know, release some of the pressure off um, Kai and Kevin and, and who else, you know. So um, in terms of preparation, um, it's been 20 odd years of, <laughs> of that um, style of play for myself. That's how I play. Um, it, it's more so being able to adjust, um, you know, to, to how we play here, but um, no, no different, um, you know, approach wise, no. Just a lot of cardio. <laughs> What's up, Patty? I'm apologies if somebody already asked you this, but obviously your, your minutes have been fluctuating. Sometimes they're in, sometimes you're out. How, how do you? deal with that on a day-to-day -day basis when you have the resume that you have? Yeah, I was just saying, I think I've been around uh, enough to be able to see, um, you know, professionals do it um, and been in an environment to work out, um, you know, how, how I should do it. And, you know, it's, it's about being a pro at the end of the day. Um, there is no real set menu on, on what to do and how to do it or how to go about it because uh, you just don't know on, on every day, so you just got to work out what's what best fits for you. And and for me, it, it's definitely been different. And as, as I've said, it, it has, hasn't been easy, but um, just being able to stay mentally prepared more than anything, um, 
you know, so that you, there's no surprise when your number gets called and you go go out there. And the second point I said is just being able to stay true to who you are and, you know, not go out there and, and be someone else. I think that's another important point in, in, in you know, that whole conversation of staying ready. Thanks, guys.